So guys, for today's pressure test, you'll be given one hour to replicate Chef Gargan's dessert. At the end of 45 minutes, all the elements of your dessert should be ready to be assembled. We will then give you 15 minutes to plate up the dish right before serving. Chef Gargan will be tasting and judging the desserts with us. Guys, there are 40 points up for grabs in this final round of competition. The recipe and the ingredients will be provided to you. Are you guys ready to take on this monumental challenge? Yep, yes. Your 45 minutes of prep time starts now. The most crucial thing for me is not to lose my head. I intend to follow the recipe, and if something doesn't look right, doesn't taste right, doesn't smell right, then you know I'm going to trust my gut. I'm going to trust that instinct. I keep telling myself this, Marcus, dessert is your thing. Don't mess it up. You know how to make a good mousse. As long as I keep calm, I should beat him in this dessert round. The first thing I work on is melting that white chocolate. I melt the chocolate in a bain marie and I stir slowly to make sure the chocolate melts evenly. Ooh. And the next thing I work on is melting the mango puree, which is frozen. So I measure out the correct amount, I chop it up small, and I melt that in a bain marie as well. I'm going to bounce back and I feel really good today. It's dessert, it's the things that I love to do. I think my knowledge for desserts is going to give me that advantage. I do know that chocolate takes time to melt, but in saying that, you do not want to overheat your chocolate because that's when it starts to split. So my trick today is, as soon as the water starts boiling, I switch it off. The residual heat from the water is going to help to melt down the chocolate even further. So now I need to start with the mango mousse. I'm going to add the mango puree that has been thoroughly melted down into the white chocolate. I'm going to add this in three additions because when adding any sort of liquid into liquid chocolate, it takes three times the addition for it to be smooth. And stirring the cream lasts. I want to make sure that the mixture is not too warm because when it's too warm and it goes into the siphon, it won't uh, fill up with gas properly. Mmm, nice. The next thing I work on, throwing some freeze-dried mango into a Ziploc bag and bashing it. Guys, 23 minutes left. Come on, you guys can do it. Come on, guys. Woo! I'm looking at the mango snowball mixture and the consistency looks good. I don't see any lumps. It's beautifully smooth and I'm quite happy with it. I'll give it a quick taste. It reminds me of what I just tasted from Chef Gargan's dish. I've got seven minutes left. I have to make the snow element of this dish. It's a mixture of dehydrated mangoes that are crushed into tiny, tiny little crumbs. Together with that, white chocolate that's drizzled into tapioca maltodextrin and that forms a sand-like texture. Your last 10 seconds! Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one! Contestants have 15 minutes to plate their final dish while the judges wait in the tasting room. The 15 minutes starts and I run straight to the fridge to get the mousse to get started with my mango snowballs. So I grab my balloon and I start trying to fill it up with the mousse. Don't panic, don't panic. Shake it upside down. It looks easy, but instead of inflating it with mousse, I'm inflating it with gas. And that's not the right idea. The whole technique of the snowball is to make sure that there's little to no air in the balloon. So I need to make sure that I'm piping as gently as I can without releasing too much pressure and too much air into the balloon. Now I need to tie it. So slippery. My hands are starting to become sticky and oily. I can't get a grip on the lip of the balloon to tie it. Man, this dessert looks simple. Not simple at all. I can't freaking tie a balloon. And I'm a magician, what the hell? I try and try and try and finally, after so long, do I manage to put a knot on the balloon. 
At this point, I'm not nervous anymore. I just throw in the balloon straight into the liquid nitrogen without that fear of handling this really dangerous material. I have three minutes left. I really, really have to get this going ASAP. At this point of time, my hands are shaking. I'm really rushing everything. I really want to make sure that I plate everything in this dish. One more minute left. Now I spoon over the snow ice onto the mango snowball, and it looks beautiful. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, this is it. A few more seconds, make it nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm so happy to be making something like this as the final dish for MasterChef Asia. I think I've done enough to win this round, but I don't know if I've done well enough to win this whole competition. Leong is a great cook. I don't expect anything lesser than something amazing on his plate. Marcus, do you feel like you've produced a fantastic dish? I think it looks good on the plate. I'm surprised that I played it something like this. Um, never in a you million years amazing. can I imagine. It does Thank look you. Look amazing. Ideally, I like to do things perfectly, mm -hmm. but you know, this is a competition. I'm running against the clock. Um, I, I wouldn't say everything ran pretty smoothly today, mm -hmm. but you know what, I had fun. Uh, I think um, playing around with liquid nitrogen, especially. You know, first time. First time, love it. Well done, Marcus. Thank well, you. It's up to us to taste now, so thank you. Thank you very much. Leung will now have 15 minutes to plate up his final dish. This is the last 15 minutes in the MasterChef Asia Kitchen, and it's also one of the hardest, most complex things I've done in the entire competition so far. I choose not to follow the exact procedure in the recipe because I know that those different components, they don't need to be done in order. The first thing I do is work on the snow powder. You ladle liquid nitrogen into a saute pan. A quick saute, I'll leave it aside. That's ready. Now I move on to the fun part, the mango snowball. Oh, I can't tie a balloon. I can't remember the last time I tied a balloon, if at all, if I've ever tied a balloon. There's mango snowball mixture coming out all over and it's quite greasy. And I have to wipe my hands down and try it again and again and again. And I'm telling myself that I will not be stopped from creating this dessert because of a stupid knot. It's important that you time yourself as you're cooking the mango snowball with liquid nitrogen. If you count too short, when it comes out, it will just melt to nothing. Too long, and you just get a crunchy mango snowball. With five minutes left to go, I start plating. I grab a plate from the fridge, and I pipe a little bit of foam in the center. I pour a snow powder on top and I proceed to garnish with some pea shoots, some flowers, and some anise. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leong, was the last 15 minutes, was that where everything could have gone wrong? That 15 minutes, that is the pressure point of this entire cook. I've never really tied a balloon in my life. <laughs> I, th I, thought, I thought that was the hardest bit. Do you think this will win the competition for you? Do you think you've done enough? I think given that it's my first time working with uh, liquid nitrogen in this way, and it's my first time tying a balloon, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. But I know that it is very different from Chef Gargan's actual dessert. Well, Leong, we're going to have to taste, so thank you. Thank you. So it comes down to the third and final round. In today's pressure test, you were challenged to recreate a dessert by Asia's number one chef, Gagan Anand. As it stands, Leong has a total score of 48 and Marcus has a total score of 43. Marcus, when your dessert entered the tasting room, it looked exactly like Gagan's original. 
So, how did you score? Marcus, I gave your dish nine out of 10. Thank you. Marcus, I gave your dish nine out of 10. Marcus, I give you a dish. Nine out of 10. Awesome job, Marcus. Thank you. Marcus, this is my dessert, and I know exactly how it tastes, and I think you deserve nine out of 10. Wow. I was really impressed that you could actually replicate what we showed you. It was phenomenal. Well done. Thank you. Marcus? That gives you a total of 36 points in round three, which brings your grand total to 79 points. <laughs> Leong, when we first saw your dish, there was one thing we all noticed straight away. There were cracks on the outside of your snowball. But how did it taste? Let's see your scores. Leon? I give you eight out of 10. Although there was a crack and I, would, I was saying that I would not have not served it in my restaurant, but then the right amount of mango in the powder and completely when it comes to your mouth, it tasted just perfect. And that's why I thought you deserved this. Thank you so much, Chef. Liam, I gave you a dish, eight out of 10. Leon, I could only give to your dish today nine out of 10. Leon, I gave your dish nine out of 10. Congratulations, Leon. You are the first.